finally got to do it, and it took a, it was a long time. But you know, you hear about these movies that they, they advertise when they come out 15 years in the making, and a lot of that is getting the script right, getting the actors, getting everybody available. Uh, ready uh, to do it, working it all out. It's, it's a long process, so that's kind of what we went through. Let me ask you, you know, what was it about The Irishman that made you so passionate about it to stay with it for all these years? I, I uh, well, the story I liked, the character, the whole thing, it just felt, uh, it, it was perfect for me and Joe and, and, and Al and Marty directing us. It was just a perfect situation. What makes Martin Scorsese the greatest director of our time. It's just, uh, again, I've only had one opportunity to work with him, but watched a lot of his movies. Just a lot of, love the stories, love the family, love the friendships, the relationships the characters tend to have with one another. Um, it's just really, really fun to watch. Uh, for me, being Italian-American, I really relate to some of the storytelling. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's really a phenomenal guy. Working with, with, with Martin and with De Niro again for the first time in quite a while, what was that like for you? Well, it's always a, 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 an experience to be, first of all, their friends, and then to work together. And you put those two together, and you have something very special as a human being. This is going to be the movie of the year, and anybody who knows anything about film, this is an art. This ain't a game. This ain't special effects. This is an art, and Martin Scorsese nails it. That's it. It feels like it's the Academy Awards, not a movie screening. This is incredible. This goes to show the love that these people have for these guys. You know, the love, oh my God, it's just incredible to me. I have to tell you, I think all of them, I think all of them, they're like, God, like just to me, tremendous. It's flawless. It's just un incredible acting. It's like a master class in acting, this movie. For sure. Well, let me ask you this. So, yeah. so you are working among giants here. Yeah. So did you ever like sort of pick a moment where you're like, okay, take this in, take this in. You know, you're not worried about the lines, you're not worried about your marks. You're like, take this in. Did you have a moment? Yeah, I mean, there's a scene where Bobby Cannavale and I, we're, we're in a, a restaurant booth, and and uh, I believe it's Pesci and De Niro are in the other side. We're in a booth. And the, the camera's on us, it starts, the scene starts, and then it cuts to them, and we're supposed to pretend to be talking when the camera wasn't on us. But every time the camera got off us, we both just looked at them, and we just couldn't stop watching that we were in a scene with them, you know? I mean, it's moments like that where we just couldn't help ourselves to, to say, this is a once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunity, career, career highlight for us. Hey guys, here's today's Daily Fact. Now, there will be blood disrupted shooting for No Country for Old Men. In 2007, they filmed in the same area of Marfa, Texas, which created issues when a pyrotechnical test for There Will Be Blood created a huge smoke cloud that got into the shop for No Country for Old Men. Joel and Ethan Cohen had to wait for it to dissipate before they could get back to shooting. Now, remember to click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side for another video.